Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to edit and update data from the database. So in previous video, we have seen about the fetching of data. So before getting started with uh, the edit and update, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe, do follow me on my Instagram as well and let's get started so in previous video we have seen how to fetch the data from the database so we have fetched it in the form of table of format in this video we will see how to edit each data if suppose i want to change the number here instead of uh, double eight it is double nine so how to do this how to add password here so how to update this and this value should also be updated here right once this is updated here this value will be shown here so let's see how to do this so let me open my code here you can see that uh, this code was a fetch fetching part which we have used a table structure to fetch it we'll create an edit button let me go back to the code and let me copy paste this once again and tell this as edit okay and here let me give table data and i'll give a href tag so href means that linking tag. So we are going to link this tag to another page. Let me give a label for this as edit itself. I'll just reload and show what is happening when I give only href tag. Okay, not adding any class. I didn't add any link there. Let us go back. So it is showing like this. So this is the href thing. Okay, it's giving me edit, but this is not like appealing. Let's go to bootstrap. You can use bootstrap okay because we have included that there. when you come to bootstrap i think uh, this is 5.2.3 when you type here for so you have this is see you have some colorful buttons here so you can use this class okay this class is button primary you can use this class to give the design part here Here we have given only href so let me use a class so i'll say class so I'll name it as success okay which will be in green color so now this is done let's go back and reload so now you can see that something of like button sort which is good looking than the previous thing right so this is done now what we have to do is so when we click on this button it has to go to some other page with this particular user thing it has to not take this another user when i click on edit it has to go with the particular username so how to do that is so here let me give edit dot php edit dot php is my file name i am redirecting when edit button is clicked i am redirecting back to edit dot php so when i click on this you can see edit.php here you are getting not found because we have not created this file yet okay so there is no issue with that we'll do that but here if you see the other thing is for everything here when you click it's telling edit.php like it is not giving any particular identity of this particular user so when i want uh, user number six also it is telling me edit.php when i want user one also it is telling me edit.php how will you identify in a unique way so you can use id id is most commonly used because id is always unique name you will have reputation you can otherwise go with email also email will always be unique but then in case of email what happens is when you take see take like this this is so big right the url looks big so that we'll go with the id itself so what we are going to do is we are going to concatenate the id here how are we going to do that give a question mark and tell id is equal to and paste this simple okay now save this go back reload click on first user you will get id is one it's automatically fetching the id of that particular user now this is done but we should create the file so let's copy this edit.php new and paste it we want to edit this data right so what we'll do we can use this register page thing only we'll be using the same form we'll use the same form to edit also what we'll do is we'll give control a control c and copy this and paste it in control in edit.php give control v that now what happens here is when i click on edit file it is giving me this structure this is what i need but the user data has to come here right so we'll work on that we'll change the title we'll change this to update 
we'll do all the changes here we'll give this as edit user in php edit and update will give and here we'll we have to change the text to update here if you see the name is register we make it as update we'll change this color as well to info and now let's go back and see our design you can see this um, heading has been changed to edit and update user in php now we want to fetch see when user 5 we are taking the id 5 but the details of user has to print here right so we have to fetch these details first inside this card body let me open close php first so first what we have to do is we have to check if that particular id is available this particular id is available right in the url so what we have to do is we have to check that first so here we'll say if is set of dollar post i mean not post it has to be get dollar get of id if there is id present then it will go inside else if someone is trying to directly access we will echo and tell something went on something went on so if there is id present then we will write the query first is dollar fetch fetch query is equal to select star from users so here we'll have where condition right we have to check where the particular users id so we'll say where where id is equal to dollar id now you will have an error for this dollar id this id is coming from the url dollar id is equal to you have to tell dollar get of id give a semicolon and write the run query so again dollar fetch query run is equal to mysqli query function connect our database which is connection as well as the fetch query so copy this and paste it here so once if you look here you can see that connection we have no connection there is no separate folder we have to include the connection in upcoming video we will just we'll create a separate folder in this video we will just copy that particular connection ok we will go to code.php inside code.php you have connection here i'll just copy this and go to our index.php i mean not index edit.php and i'll paste the connection here so now it will be connected to this database so we have to check if there is any data present in that particular table so using my sqli num rows of this query which consists of the connection and the select query is greater than zero if it is greater than zero means there is data available else we are going to echo and tell no data found so if there is data found we have to use a for each loop as we did in our edit thing how we fetched using a for each similar way we have to fetch it so using for each for each of fetch query as you can give you a variable name i'm giving it as row so here we are going to fetch all the data echo dollar row of id copy paste paste name we'll echo these two things and check if the data is coming i have done this coding outside the form so let's see what is happening so when i refresh i'm getting one is name it is taking this thing 
and it is giving me the username okay the sneha is here but this has to come inside this form right i leave the id the name has to come here phone number has to come here address and email so how to do that i am just removing that two line of code and i am closing the php opening the php once again so here what i'll do is inside this i'll cut this form and paste it here i'll format this after that for each i'm just giving the form we want the data here right inside this particular input tag we'll give a value here value attribute and php open close and tell echo dollar row of name your semicolon and similarly copy this value paste it here paste it here for oh, password phone. so give phone email and password let's go back and refresh so we are getting everything there's no password for user one so we here we what we'll do is we'll enter password and try to update we have done with our fetching part let's work on this update button coming back to the update button we have given the name update button so let's copy this update button and this form is going to code.php okay so let's go to code.php here this is login update code and check if is set of dollar post of update button if that button is there if that button is clicked what has to perform once that button is clicked we want the name so let's give the name and dollar post of the name so this name dollar post of name is coming from here guys this name let's go back to code.php give a semicolon copy paste 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 and next we have is phone number right so let's change this quickly to phone number and we have email email and then we have password we have e name phone email password this is right we have to write query for updation so give your dollar update query is equal to update table name right so update users set name is equal to dollar name comma phone is equal to dollar phone and then we have email copy this email paste it here and here let's give email is equal to dollar email and the final one is password so type password is equal to copy this and paste it so here when we are updating we are taking the id right we are taking the id of user we have to give a where condition so where id is equal to Uh, when I tell here dollar ID and I have given a semicolon. So when I tell dollar ID, I need ID here, right? So let's give ID is equal to dollar post of I need ID. If you normally see here, we have only name, phone, email, password, but the ID is not there. But when you are taking ID here, it will show an error, right? So we have to give an ID. So this ID will be hidden. It will not be shown. For example, I will show you, then we can hide it. So give an input tag of put tag. And here, let it be text. And let's give value is equal to copy this and paste it here give this as id okay then give this form control name as well copy paste so instead of name it's going to be id we are taking the id now it is text 
So when you go back here and reload, you can see ID here. We don't need to show this ID. We can hide this. So to hide that, just make the type to hidden. So when you hide it, this will not be shown. So we are taking this ID to update particular user. Once that's done, we are going to write the run query. So update query run is equal to MySQLI query connection comma update query. So here no need to give connection on top here because connection is already here. We are inside this PHP only. So if this query is running successfully, copy this and paste it here. And then echo. Oh, we, we are using session, right? So dollar, dollar session message is equal to updated successfully. If it is not updated, we'll copy paste the same thing here until not update successfully. So we have written the code here for the update and we have fetched the details here. So let's go and uh, check what is happening with our code. So let's go back here, refresh. When I click on Sneha, it is giving me a details of Sneha. Here there is no password. Let's update this with a password. So one, two, three. I'm going to click on update. So it's going back to code.php, but it is not redirecting. Let's see if that is updated in our database. If password is updated, let's refresh this. So it's updated, but this is still in code.php. We have to redirect back to the index. So that we'll do. So let's go back and redirect this first. So give header location, location. And give a space here and just give index. If it is updated, come back to index.php. If it is not updated, be in edit.php itself. Now let's go back, refresh. Let's update the second user as well. I've given the password. I'm updating it. So the password is updated, but the message didn't pop up. So we'll check on that. Major objective was to get this updated and when you reload, it is updated here as well. You can update and see one entire user. I'll update this second user, okay? I'm updating Anu again. I'm going to sell Anu's tree is her name. And let's update this to 79. And Anu's tree at gmail.com will tell. And password on 2 people by 6. When I update, you can see the update for every field is working. But we didn't get the message that the user has updated successfully. We'll check on that. We go to index.php. We have not set the condition. So we have to set that condition. So let's go back to login page. You can see here you have done something, right? We have to do this. We have to set this. So instead of wasting time, we'll just copy this session and go to index and paste it paste it here no problem we'll paste it here but this has to be inside a php so open close php paste it here inside this authentication we already have session if you type session again it will give you an error we have set the message now let's go update rc once again let me update anushri again back to anu i'm going to remove this make it seven again and remove this Anushri password also one and update i've got your message hey updated successfully so let's see a recap of what we have done in this video in objective was edit and update particular data which is in database in previous video we have already fetched the data in this video we have just added one table header edit and we have given the edit button for each of the table data. Once I click on this edit button, it has to go back to that particular edit page with the ID. It is redirecting with an ID. Once we are into this edit page, we have fetched the details of user and then we have given an update button. Update this, it's redirecting with a message updated successfully. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.